Britannica School. Guys, this is an amazing website that the school has bought for all the students. This is the place that you will go to 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 research anything that you want to. This you will need this program to research about any project that your teachers assign for you. So how to access this website? Again, all you need to do is go into Microsoft Teams. You go into your classroom and the teacher will share a link with you that says Britannica link. So anytime you have a project, you can just come into Britannica. The ID number is DBS. Once you logged in once you'd, and you want to access Britannica again, you don't have to do it through Microsoft Teams. You can just open up your Internet Explorer and you can type in Britannica School. Okay. Just make sure you don't go into the .com one, the eb.com. We want to go into .co.uk. And if you click on that, as you can see, it automatically opens up this and you don't have to type in that access code again and you don't have to use the link. But for the first time, users, you have to use the link. Okay, so let's quickly have a look at what Britannica has to offer. So there are three phases. This is high school, middle school and of course elementary. So this is where we want to be. Here at the bottom, there are a few tabs, Animal Kingdom, Biographies, World Atlas. This is a fun place to look at and comparing countries. These are like little games, nice graphics that they have for you. Please go and have a look. Uh, we're not going to look at all of them today. What I want to show you is the how to do research on it. So if we look back at our science project, for example, that was about Earth and the Sun. So all I have to do is click on the search button and I say earth and sun and I press enter so as you can see it gives me articles it will give me images great images about the earth and sun there are videos there's the dictionary journals and the best websites we can look at for the article part what's really nice about it it has different levels so again if you're a grade 1 student you can look at level 1 if you're grade 2 you can also look at level 1 here at grade 5 you might want to look at level 3 so then you just click on the article it will take you to it and what's so great about it is that it has a listening option so as soon as you click on listen introduction earth third planet from the sun and it reads the whole article for you right and you can learn everything you want to know about earth and sun also a great feature if I look at this word that's a difficult word I just double click on it and I can listen mythology Ah, mythology so it pronounces the word for me again so any word that you don't really know how to say or what it means you can just double click on it and you can click on the little speaker propose propose and it it says there to offer for consideration to make plans so it gives you a definition immediately you don't have to go open up a new tab and look at the words again okay this was a level 3 article so we can take the same article but now it's on a level 1 we have the same options we can listen to it we can double click on a difficult word and we can listen contain ah, and it reads the word for us so this you can do for all the articles and the same now we can look at images and videos they are great images about the earth and some videos and so forth just to, if you want to go back we just click on Britannica school go into the foundation phase and here I can do my searches again so if you're searching any animal if you're searching any anything if you're doing anything in math language arts that you want to find out more please use Britannica okay guys and go have a look around